Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the season finale here in Division 2 at a track with very little to no prep, no real-life racing held to go off of, and seven different drivers in contention to win a Division 2 championship tonight. What could possibly go wrong? This is Division 2, this is Round 16, and this is the Jetta Cornish Circuit. 27 corners make up the 6.1 kilometer circuit that's been branded as the world's fastest street circuit, and that is a title, uh, no overstatement at all, as about 80% of the lap is taken at full throttle. Now, drivers will have to be extra aware of their surroundings, but be willing to potentially make a championship winning move. Guys, there are seven different drivers in contention for the championship tonight. So not only is this a crucial night here in Division 2, we do have two drivers over in Division 1 as well. Nikki 64 and Hightower, both in Division 1, subbing in for Division 1 drivers, whose points will count down here in Division 2 towards the championship. So this is an absolutely ridiculously complicated and complex night. I've got a second screen that I'm looking at the... Div 1 race right now because Nikki 64 currently third in the driver sta uh, standings here in Division 2, so it's very important that uh, we have an eye on him the whole time. I do apologize in advance if, my, vo if uh, my voice is a little raspy. I've been pretty much sick the past whole week. Not coronavirus, but uh, definitely something, as Dead Text Message is going to be the first driver to, well, I say wing it, but, uh, you know, it... Given a good, given a good wing, winging it here, and uh, in Division Two, the first time out on this Jetta Corner Circuit. Uh, both the Aston Martin drivers out tonight for various reasons. Uh, so Knuckles and Capital 58 will take over the Green Garage tonight. Dead text message in for Fusale in the Alfa Romeo. Crucially, and this is important, Hammer takes over for Houdini's ride tonight in the Ferrari, and Houdini unfortunately loses out on his title chances tonight. As uh, also DDL comes up for Nikki in the McLaren. Nikki, as we said, filling in for a driver in Division One. His points in Division One count down in Division Two tonight. Very important. And then Grim Reefer takes over the Alpha Tauri seat of Puff Digital. That uh, very important. I've had a sore throat probably this whole entire week so far. Still there, pretty much as dead text message out on the softs. I mean, there's nothing else to say, really. This is just a, such an important and crucial night. This qualifying session is going to be the most important of the year, probably, of the year. And Dead Text Message is going to be the first one out uh, to give it a good old crack as he exits the final corner of turn 27 and onto the pit straight here. Pits, uh, I say straight, it's more of a cake, really. <coughs> Across the line and into turn one for your track guide of the Jetta Circuit. Turns one and two going to be crucial in the race and this qualifying session. Really want to ride both of these curves at the same time. Take a very close apex through turn two. Carry some speed on the way out. A little bit of oversteer there for Dead Text Message. Didn't take that one entirely well. Turn four, braking zone down three shifts right here. Nice and uh, cutting the curb as much as you can. Easy on the throttle through this bit here. Through sixth gear uh, in this one here. Down into, I, I can't even realize what turn we're going through. Through the DRS section of turn 12. A lot of overtakes are going to be made here, hopefully. Through turn 13, really banked corner. A lot of uh, overtaking maneuvers hopefully going to be happening there. Out of that corner through turn 15, 14, 15, 16, and 17. Down three shifts here uh, through turn 16, this is. Tight braking zone, hold the curb a lot on exits uh, to the left-hand side. Full throttle through this next section of track. All the way up, uh, all the way until we get into turn 22, I believe it is, right here. Down two shifts here, hug the wall close on the left side. Try not to invalidate right there as he's done nicely. The rest of this flat out through here into the DRS section, uh, into the, what I like to call the spoon part of the circuit because it does look oddly reminiscent of a spoon. Into turn 27, down about five or six shifts right here. Nice and easy on the throttle, on exit, and then it's full throttle back to the line. DRS wide open for dead text message. Let's see what this is going to put him at. And it's a rather slow lap, 130.317. Uh, interesting there. Not the worst lap he's... Uh, not the worst lap you could have. Actually, not a bad one whatsoever, considering you're using what is most likely a time trial setup into a, uh, into a race... In, in a race session. 
a lot of those times you can't really rely on that uh, setup there, the time trial setup, but, you know, it's good to have. Next across the line going to be the McLaren of DDL, who's invalidated as this lap behind him. Monkey Mafia goes P2, and then Chief Braids, and then Forza Juve. Oh, it's all too much to keep up with, but Forza Juve got a really nice toe there from Chief Braids in that Mercedes, a 128.591. That will move us to the fastest lap of the session, probably one of the fastest laps we're going to see, really. Next across the line, the Ferrari of Hammer. Hammer's going to go P5, about three seconds off the pace. A lot of these drivers still doing their best to try to get used to the circuit here uh, as much as they can. Going to be a very uh, important tonight. Next up looks like uh, it's going to be Evil Prime. Both the Alpatari's actually out uh, on outlaps. Next up, I think, is going to be the Monkey Mafia doing his best. I misspoke. It's actually a dead text message. Let's see. I'm not sure he's going to be able to make another lap. He doesn't have his uh, battery being used here. As VTech, he's gone off somewhere. I'm not really sure where that is in the pits, most likely. Can't quite see it. Behind him, I think, is the McLaren of DDL coming to the line now. He's got the toe. That, oh, that's uh, it's going to be light work, actually. From the text message, light work's going to go P2, five tenths of a second off the pace. Not bad at all. Next up, I believe, is going to be uh, not Nero Nix, but I believe it's actually Dace on his flying lap now. Dace. Currently, I think, uh, oh, what is he in the championship? I think he's currently fourth, maybe fifth. Very important qualifying session here for Dace. Now, I tell you what, he made up a lot of ground uh, two weeks ago in Imola. Uh, didn't really have the best qualifying session. That and Nero Nix, both uh, alike in that respect. Uh, but Dace was able to make up a lot of ground during the race and get him back into this fight for the championship. That's going to be really, really important for him, as you can see Knuckles getting out of the way there. As it stands right now, Nikki 64 has qualified P10 uh, in the Division I race. We're keeping an eye on that. High Tower, can we find him? Currently P12. So P11 and P12 are two Division I drivers over, or two uh, Division II drivers battling in this championship over in the Division I side of the world. We are on board with Dace somehow hasn't invalidated his lap there. I think he's going to get a nice toe from the McLaren of, I believe this is... Is it DDL? I'm not quite sure. You have an Alpha Tauri that's gone off there. Into turn 27 he goes. That is light work, currently P2. Uh, how much of a toe is he going to get? He's got the DRS wide open, using it as much as he can. Used all his battery, and Dace is going to go P2 by less than half a second. And I tell you what, I think Forza Juve, uh, his qualifying efforts are really going to be based on the, the toe that he got. Uh, from Chief Braids in the Haas. That was just an absolutely incredible lap from the Mercedes driver. <coughs> Definitely doing his best to, I'd say, interfere in this championship battle. As, oh, what's happened to him? He's, uh, I don't want to say he's done a Rahavir, but it's very close to being one. Next up across the line is going to be the Red Bull. I believe that's Fuse Row. Goes P3, five tenths of a second off the pace. Not that bad at all from the Red Bull driver. I believe that's the Ferrari of Hammer 38 coming in. Next up to the line, I think, is going to be the... I believe is going to be the Williams of Nero Nix, another one of those drivers in the championship hunt. He and his teammate, for that matter, uh, Dace, in the championship hunt. Let's see what Nero Nix has to offer here. Didn't really have the best race at Imola whatsoever. He goes P5 at the moment. That's not a bad result from him, but he's going to need a lot more in the race. That's for sure. Nero Nix uh, had a pretty solid lead of the championship going into Imola. Crashed out about 10 laps in. Didn't take home any points. That race currently finds himself, I believe that is P4 in the Drivers' Championship currently. Once again, I'm using my magical computer skills to try to get some live updates here. I have to be very careful dealing with the uh, pit entry and pit exits on this track. It's not necessarily been a glitch by Codemasters, but uh, the white line rules have been very, very strict on this circuit. And a lot of drivers have been receiving a ridiculous amounts of penalties in their respective, uh, you know, offline races that they've been doing. 
excuse me for my eventual cough here and there. I need it to really clear my throat and get it all good to go. Tiger Nascar, another one of our championship contenders on his t uh, timed lap here, makes his way, this is uh, turn 12, into the DRS section. Purple Sector 1 from the Red Bull driver. Don't count out Tiger Nascar. He's got a lot of work to do today, but I tell you what, I've, I've, stranger things have happened here in Division 2 and Midwest F1 alike. I wouldn't be surprised if somehow, some way, he can end up with a championship today. Oh, and they spun it round! I had to just stop talking, shouldn't I? That's really knock on well for the Red Bull driver of Tiger Nascar. I believe that's the Alpine of Sephron City who's starting a time lap now, currently five and a half seconds off the pace. Next up to the line is going to be the Aston Martin of Knuckles. Currently in the Div 1 qualifying, Nikki 64 and Hightower back to back still P13, P14. Nikki 64, the inaugural Midwest F1 Division 1 champion. Back in season one. Here's Dace on his outlap. Let's see what kind of tires people are using. I would assume most of them are going to be on the softs, and that is the case. A couple drivers choosing to select the mediums. One crucially is is our uh, one of our championship contenders, Monkey Mafia, down there, P11. Now Dace has set his best lap on the medium tires. kind of taking us good Jesus I'm sick Dace trying his best taking his lap as calm as he can really trying to not eat up the tires that much at all the two Alpha Tauris have really been I will say been pretty much following each other along this whole time as uh, PWR Grim Reefer and Evil Prime have both been giving each other a solid toe here and there one driver that has not made a lap yet, crucially, our championship leader of detail. Now this track is difficult, you really don't have a lot of time uh, to make too many timed laps here. Detail's gonna have to get with it. Just kind of waiting for the Ferrari of Hammer 38 to get out to some room ahead of him. He's got clear track behind him, but he doesn't really much have it in front of him. Goodness gracious, man. I've never been sick during a broadcast before. It's not even like I'm feeling bad, it's just my throat and coughing. I've already tested negative for the coronavirus earlier this week. But this is utter hell on earth, for me at least. But. What is going to be utter hell if, is if Detail can't get himself out of the top 10. Let's see what Detail has to offer here in Jeddah. Turns 1 and 2, locks up the left front on his way in. Keeps the apex of turn 2 nice and tidy. Into turn 4, down into 4th gear, holding it nicely right now so far I will say. Keeping it through six so far. Dace, one of our championship contenders, goes P1, a 128.141. Puts about half a second to Forza Juve and a second back to Fuse Road. We knew that the soft tires were going to help out Dace, and boy, has he shown some pace. We are on with our championship leader at this moment in time. Detail 86 in the Mercedes. <clears throat> Into Sector 3 he goes, set of Purple Sector 1, and it's Purple Sector 2 as well for the Mercedes. Through the Giant Spoon section. 
across the line is going to be detail 86. Let's see what he's got. It's going to be P5. About a second off the pace so far for detail. Not bad at all, but I tell you what, on a fresh set of softs, a full second is not what he needed. As it turns out, there's only a seven second difference between the Div 1 qualifying and the Div 2 qualifying. I believe they're seven seconds behind us. Nikki 64 down in P14 Hightower, currently the last of the qualified cars. P17. Not to mention details actually low on fuel. Really just wanted it to be somewhat of a one and done lap. He's going to have to hustle it back to pit lane here if he wants to have anything done with it. He's in a tough spot detail. Not comfortable gap at all. Six points the gap between first and second of him and the Monkey Mafia. Monkey Mafia currently in the pits only has made one lap so far. Next up, I believe, is going to be the Mercedes. Nope, that's not detail. That's actually going to be Forza Juve. So the line he goes, does he stay out? No, he doesn't. Less than a tenth separate first and second so far. Hammer 38 to the line. Let's see what he's got, and he's going to go P7. Not bad at all, but lots of improvement to be made. Fuse Rogue is next up, coming through the spoon of turn 27. Across the line comes the Red Bull of Fuse Rogue, and that's going to put him P2, 7, one hundredths of a second off of our provisional pole sitter of days. So I tell you what, if honestly, I wouldn't say unlikely names towards the top right now, but a few names that you certainly would not expect. Dace is up there, I mean, he currently sits P5 in the standings, Nero Nix P4, the two Williams teammates. Behind them, Detail, P6 currently. A third row starting spot would not be ideal for Detail. Although he's, he'll take whatever he's got really, I mean Detail's one of those drivers can make a lot work. But not a lot as far as uh, qualifying efforts. And Niru Nix is going to go off. He's going to retire in pits. Detail 86. Doesn't look like he's going to attempt another lap here. The Red Bull, I believe that's Fuse Rogue. No, it's actually the other Red Bull of Tiger NASCAR, one of our other championship contenders here. DRS open for the Red Bull driver. Where does this put him? Did he even start a lap there? Maybe wasn't invalidated. I didn't kick quite catch on to it in time. That's also possible. Next up, I believe, is going to be Dace. And a final flying lap. Ugh. Goodness gracious. Well, Dace got a bit wide there and has invalidated his lap. Not what he needed whatsoever. I was looking at the bottom of the screen. With 20 seconds to go left in the session, Dace is going to have to abandon that flying lap attempt. Meanwhile, Nikki 64 and Hightower currently P14 and P16 in Division 1. Should I just mute my mic every time I go to cough? Honestly. I, I, I might have to, honestly. Next across the line is going to be the Aston Martin. Of, I believe this is Capital 58. Final qualifying attempt here, and that's going to put him P12 behind him. Or as the Juve comes in, he's P3. The Alpha Tauri, this is PWR Grim Reefer, goes up to P8. Not a bad lap at all. Next up's going to be the Red Bull of Tiger NASCAR. He needs himself a lap, and he's invalidated it. So P17 is the answer for Tiger NASCAR, a driver who's still in the hunt for the championship doesn't really get the best lap he probably could. And that is definitely not what he needed. Dace isn't going to be able to complete a lap. Monkey Mafia is on track. 
heading through the giant spoon at the moment. He's only made one lap attempt so far. He's currently P14. Through the DRS section he goes. He's not got a lot of time to put himself on pole. Let's see what he's got. And Monkey Mafia is going to go P7. Right behind his championship uh, hunt counterpart of Detail 86 as NFS Lightwork goes pole position by a whole, wow, five tenths of a second. Next up to the line, DDL in the McLaren. P15 for him. Chief Braids is next up. He's not going to make an attempt. So NFS Lightwork takes pole position. Dace, crucially, takes second. As far as Division 1 race is concerned, Nikki 64 currently P15 in the standings. High Tower currently P16. Both of those drivers have completed their qualifying efforts. But it's NFS Lightwork taking bull position for the McLaren team here in Jeddah. Behind him is Dace. Really wish I had myself some cough drops at this moment in time. I got a bag right here. It just don't work as well as I'd like them to. Well, let's give it a go. They also taste terribly, these ones do. Most cough drops, I understand, aren't really meant to taste very well, but these ones are taste especially bad. But for the sake of the cast, we're going to continue on. NFS Lightwork takes pole position. Dayson second, Fuse Rogue third, Forza Juve fourth, Nero Nixon fifth, Detail sixth, the Monkey Mafia seventh, Knuckles eighth, Chief Braids in ninth, BWR Grim Reefer tenth, Hammer 38 eleventh, twelfth is Evil Prime, thirteenth Dead Text Message, fourteenth Capital 58, fifteenth DDL, sixteenth Sephron City, seventeenth Crucially Tiger NASCAR, eighteenth is VTech, and rounding out the field in P19 is Text to Speech. So, as we begin our formation lap, just like to remind you once again that this race is brought to you by Ray's Energy. And also check out the Slipstream podcast featuring Aid Altonian for all your Formula One and Midwest F1 actions. So if you look and see what tires the field has chosen, looks like the answer is going to be the soft compound. Now, the interesting thing here is... Uh, well, there's going to be no fooling around tonight as far as tire strategy. It's a super simple one stop from the softs to the mediums. And, you know, sure, the overcut and undercut are in play. But tonight's champions, uh, tonight's championship will most likely be decided on track and not in the pits. And hopefully that comes to fruition as we are really hoping for a solid race here. We have NFS Lightwork leading the field around our formation lap. And NFS Lightwork really taking no prisoners here, too, taking it as fast as he can. So, this is the interesting bit here. Nero Nix, Detail, and the Monkey Mafia all ridiculously close to each other in the championship. Detail 86 and the Monkey Mafia, this is where uh, the real battle, I think, is going to commence today, unless Dace can pull something out of the hat. And Detail has some unbelievably terrible luck. The Div 1 race is about to get underway here. Scuba Steve has taken a drive through penalty for jump starting. Just looking at the way into turn one, it's about four abreast there for the Div 1 guys. That'll be interesting, surely.
NFS light work. Pole position by a considerable amount over Dace. Dace in a really good spot to walk away with the championship right now. My hound is, my head is considerably pounding from all the coughing that I've been doing. But that doesn't matter. We've got lights coming on. It's lights out and away we go for the season. What is this for finale? NFS Lightwork gets it down into turn one in front of Dace. Dace has a very good line through. He's got Fuse Rogue right behind him. Most importantly though, Detail and Monkey Mafia trading places back and forth side by side. We do have a yellow flag towards the back. Uh, text to speech, something has happened with him. He's stationary on the starting grid. Surely gonna be facing a disqualification for sitting on the track. But as it stands right now, here comes Forza Juve around the left side of, Four of uh, Fuse Rogue. Down into turn 12. He's going to keep it there, switch back to the inside, trying his best. Doing everything he can, Niru Nix has taken the gap to about uh, 7 tenths of a second on detail here. Niru Nix didn't look like he took that corner as well as he wanted to. Monkey Mafia in hot pursuit still of detail. Text-to-speech has been disqualified for parking in a dangerous location. Wonder if maybe something happened to him with his wheel or something of that nature. As, it, as that does bring out the yellow flag in sector one. As Fuse Rogue, something has happened. Fuse Rogue has lost it in front of some of our championship contenders. We do have a virtual safety car on the circuit. Something has happened to the Red Bull driver. Falls back, I will say that's a very interesting place to lose the car there. Wonder if he maybe made contact with somebody. Super unfortunate for him, but that moves Nero Nix up into P4, detail to P5. Monkey Mafia, he's coming in. Monkey Mafia's got a puncture. The Monkey Mafia potentially ran over some of the debris from Fuse Rogue's crash. And the Monkey Mafia. His title hopes may very well be over after that. It's very, very rare that you get a puncture in this game. I can't say I've ever had one before. But Monkey Mafia, in a time where he could never have ever hoped for a puncture, has just gotten one. As the field now slowly starting to spread out a bit now, this is really Detail 86. This is his title to lose as we do have, I believe that's Evil Prime that's gone off. Someone has just ran straight into the back of Evil Prime. And I believe it's DDL who he's made contact with. I'm not entirely sure that was Evil Prime's fault. I did see him rather stopped in the corner. Very unfortunate there for Evil Prime. The Monkey Mafia is still down in P17. Has he got another puncture? What? The Monkey Mafia suffers yet another puncture. That's twice. You can't make this up, folks. The Monkey Mafia who got the puncture going through the Fuse Rogue incident there gets a puncture from going through the debris left behind by Evil Prime and DDL. That's just incredibly unbelievable there. Forza Juve still doing as best as he can to get round to the Williams car of Dace. DRS has been opened. I don't think he's going to be able to make a move happen now. And oh no, the uh, we we were looking at. I was just I was just taking a peek at the Division One race. I can't confirm. Mickey sixty four is about P fourteen at the moment. High Tower is about P seventeen. And uh, our Div One commentator Crash McQueen, his uh, his PlayStation's done a wrongin as uh, his uh, his F one twenty twenty app has crashed. 
And here we are right now, Forza Juve to the gearbox of Dace going through turn 27. He's going to have the DRS. Not quite sure he'll be able to make a move now. NFS Lightwork has the fastest lap, 131.5. 9-4. Now that fastest lap could really come into play for some of these other championship contenders, but at the moment it belongs to NFS Lightwork. Detail under pressure here from Knuckles. That detail is going to have to be one of those drivers to not make any mistakes tonight as uh, Knuckles really slithering back and forth around the track. Looked like he had a lot of oversteer here and there. I mean, that's really it for closest battles. We do have Forza Juve right to the gearbox of Dace. It's about five tenths of a second. I said earlier today that this track is uh, really reminiscent of both Singapore and Baku, and also that of. Uh, Vietnam all thrown together in a circuit. We do have a car gone off, and it looks like that's Knuckles, and he makes big contact with dead text message. Wow, and that was some incident we've just witnessed there. As I saw Knuckles bounce through the circuit, made contact with dead text message. That's two more claimed. That puts us at four DNFs, and we do have a full safety car on track. So NFS Lightworks going to come in now. And it looks like the Div 1 race is also under safety car, as JC Blackley has done, in it, done it in. Nikki 64 currently pitting P19 at the moment. Hightower currently P10, the best of uh, himself and Nikki 64. Detail comes in and pits along with most of the top five. Niru Nix came in. Detail already came in. Let's see if we anybody gets penalties on the exit of the pit lane here. I really hope not. Certainly possible. There goes Detail almost losing the car right there, isn't it? Five laps in, we've got ourselves two D, uh, four DNFs really early on. 20 laps to go. Let's update the points while we can. Nice currently still seconds. Niru Nix to P4. Detail currently P5. Lucky Mafia, he's all, all the way down there in P14 at this moment. Tiger NASCAR, he finds himself currently P11. So at this moment in time, Detail does have the championship lead. Niru Nix about 27 points behind in seconds. Monkey Mafia seven points behind him in third. Dace three points behind him in fourth. Tiger Nascar in fifth currently, although if we look at the Div 1 guys at the moment, Nicky 64, yeah, currently P17. Puts himself at 6.57. Not really any, any contention there. So it's a 20. It's about 27 points to the gap between Detail and Niru Nix. We are probably going to have safety car for at least one or two more laps here. I'm going to give my throat a proper rest in that moment in time. Excuse the silence from here on out.
Looks like the Div 1 race is about to get underway shortly as they head towards the uh, spoon. God, I love that. <laughs> Saudi Arabia. The track is just one big school. Anyways. Look at the tires right now, who's on what compound. I mean, these medium tires really they can only go about 18 laps. Most of the guys that are on the medium compound I think could make it aside from Evil Prime and VTech. Sephron City, Capital 58, DDL, and Forza Juve are the only drivers to not be on that same medium compound. Safety car is going to be in this lap. Still very much a shootout between Dace and Detail here, although I think Niru Nix is in second in the championship behind Detail, 27 points down. It looks like Detail's going to make that overtake quickly. He's going to let Niru Nix in by just as easy. He's got Hammer 38 to his gearbox inside of him as Evil Prime looking for the spot. Side by side between those two. It's a Ferrari sandwich. As VTEC, I think, gets in there as well. Something's happened to Chief Braids. He's fallen off the pace just slightly. Forza Juve within three tenths of a second on Dace. Forza Juve on those fresh, soft tires. Now he's going to have to stop at least one more time. So that, that, at the end of the day, probably isn't the best idea. There goes Monkey Mafia up to P13. Down they go into turn 12. Up and out. Sephron City. Something has happened to the Alpine driver of Sephron City. Hopefully not another safety car here. Side by side there for a moment between Evil Prime and VTEC. VTEL is allowed about a second and a half gap back to Niru Nix. Forza Juve still within two tenths on Dace. This one's going to be close. Hopefully Forza Juve doesn't make any unnecessary contact with Dace. Down to the inside he goes. Looking for the second spot as they head into turn 27. Forza Juve is going to get it easily even without the DRS. Dace was looking for the spot but I don't really think he needs to be lunging for any maneuvers now as Forza Juve has to pit again. He's going to be faster on that soft compound but I don't think it's really going to matter as much. Forza Juve yet again taking that. Unbelievably crucial fastest lap points that I'm sure some drivers in the field are definitely going to be looking for. A little bit of a close battle towards the back. Tiger NASCAR has got VTEC to the side. He's going to get through it there. Tiger NASCAR has had himself a good race so far. Up to P8 from his original position. Nine spots in the positive direction for Tiger NASCAR. Very solid from him. Probably going to be able to capitalize on Evil Prime here shortly. Looks like Sui is currently overtaking Nikki 64 over in the Div 1 race. I think had Nikki 64 raced here in Division 2, probably could have walked away with a championship tonight. It looks like he's on the struggle bus, rather, over in Div 1. Tiger NASCAR looking to the gearbox of Evil Prime as they head into... Oh, God, oh, God only knows what turn this is. I think it's 22. Yeah, I think that's right. No DRS just yet. Tiger NASCAR down to the inside. This is a crucial one here for the Red Bull driver. I think he's going to make it happen. Evil Prime pulls back to his right side. DRS enabled this time side by side here between the Red Bull and the Alpha Tauri driver and it looks like Evil Prime's going to lay off for now. Potentially could make a move into turn one. Monkey Mafia jumps up to P12. Good on him. Forza Juve within a tenth of a second. At, at, at one point was within a tenth of, tenth of a second on our leader of light work here. Dace not far behind either. You have to think as well, both of these Williams drivers in that hunt for the championship. Niru Nick's certainly closer to detail than Dace. However, 
Every point counts. We'll say though, it looks like detail. He's in rather a track of his own at the moment. He's only got Nero Nix in front of him. Nobody even close behind him. Three and a half seconds, almost four seconds the gap back. Lots of open track for the Mercedes driver of detail. Very close racing here. Here comes Forza Juve trying to send it around the outside on light work. He's going to make it happen for the time being. Nicely done there. Forza Juve, how old is his tires? Three laps. Soft, skin, soft tires can go between 11 and 13 laps. I will say the safety cars definitely messed that most of the strategies up, I will say that much. Forza Juve then just picks up three seconds of time penalty. That's not what he needed, especially considering he'll be stopping in the next God my lungs are coming out Tiger NASCAR did a good job he just got around hammer 38 for the sixth spot he's got about four and a half seconds back to detail Runix detail Tiger NASCAR. Here comes Day still within six tenths of a second. Unhappy people in Division 4. Two Ferraris battling. Looks like VTEC got the better of Hammer for at the moment. Lightwork still within four tenths of a second on Forza Juve doing as best he can. As we look over to the Div 1 race at the moment, Nikki 64 currently good to place P12, Vitower still P17. At this moment in time, that's not really going to help out Nikki 64's case much in this championship, unfortunately for him. Evil Prime picking up three seconds for multiple warnings. Cough drop I have is honey flavored. Very much do not like honey. So it looks like at the moment, one, two, and three, all within a second of the leader. Doesn't really appear that anyone's trying anything silly at this moment in time. Which I suppose is good to see. Here comes light work though, down to the inside on Forza Juve. And he's gonna make that overtake happen. This will be a great result for light work if he can make it happen, and that McLaren team in general. Although Mercedes, I tell you what, they're having a really solid day. Good make some moves in the constructor standings, which admittedly I'm not paying all that much attention to, uh, considering that this we have seven drivers in the hunt for the driver's championship. Tiger NASCAR. One of those drivers picking up three seconds of time penalty. Very easy to do on this track. Here comes Dace. He's going to be looking at the gearbox of Forza Juve shortly. I'm going to look back to Monkey Mafia for just a second in time. Uh, I thought he was closer. Turns out he's not. Keith Braid's very close here to Hammer. Let's see if he can make something happen here. Going to look low. Late break into the corner. That was a very nice overtake there from the Haas driver down on the curves it's side by side between these two and the Haas for the for this moment of time is gonna pull away that was a very nicely done move there 
from Chief Briggs. Detail 86 trying to find his way back to Niru Nix here. The gap down to within a second. Looks like Forza Juve finally coming in and pitting. Is it a wing change, perhaps? Didn't really expect him to be pitting this early. No, it's just a little stop, I suppose. Detail 86, I'm sure he'd love to get around Niru Nix for the spot on the podium. Monkey Mafia, getting around Hammer. As it turns out, that looked like a very nice move, actually. Only really caught on to the end of it, unfortunately. Day still trying to find the gearbox of light work for the lead. Detail within half a second on Niru Nix. This has major implications on the championship right here. Very crucial that these drivers don't get this wrong. Detail still within that second gap for the DRS, although it doesn't really look like he's making much of it. He doesn't have to, though, you have to remember. Don't want to say just fall in line for detail, but yeah, really just fall in line. Monkey Mafia, he's made his way up to P10. Pretty good for him. But not even really close to detail. Only about three points the gap between him and Nero Nix. Well, that's for second. Detail 86 still trying to do everything he can to get to the back of Nero Nix. Here's Forza Juve. <coughs> Within two te tenths of a second here on VTech. Side by side with him, this is a really good battle. Down to turn 22. A little bit of across the curbing there, but I don't think the stewards are going to be raising any eyebrows at that. Another safety car, as it turns out, in the Div 1 race. It's currently Kate Thomas has the lead. Nikki 64 down there in 12th. Heights Hour and 16th. Here comes Detail. This is going to be probably the time to make the move here on Niru Nix. He's going to look to the inside, back to the outside. Almost made that move happen. I think he had the braking zone into turn one, chose to back off. Got really close. I think maybe just wanted to play it a little smart. Something that you really need to do. No sense jeopardizing your race here when you don't need to. Have the DRS again going into 12. Nothing to be made of it quite yet. Every driver in the top five, all in the same age of tires, all in the same compound as well, all nine lap old mediums. The interesting part is when you get to Forza Juve, fresh medium tires and P6. I don't really suppose he's going to be making any sort of challenge at the moment on Tiger NASCAR. He's got about a four and a half second gap to make up. Christ. 
comes Detail, looking into 27 on Nero Nix. Doesn't make it happen yet, although I think he's going to get the better exit here. Definitely looks like it. Monkey Mafia up to P9. Here comes Detail around the right side on Nero Nix. And it looks like Detail, for the time being, is going to make the overtake happen. That was nicely done for the Mercedes driver. Monkey Mafia and Evil Prime still battling it outside by side back there. Why don't we go take a look at that? Here comes Hammer on this as well. It's going to be a three-car battle heading into turn number one. Oh, man, this is getting dangerous. Down to the inside looks Evil Prime. Did he make contact with the left side? Whoa, it looked like he almost did. Three-car battle here for the eighth position. Monkey Mafia has the has the advantage for now. Although two hungry Italian drivers behind them. Actually, all three of them are Italian, if you want to get into specifics. Alfa Romeo is Italian, Alfa Tauri, they're an Italian team. Ferrari's obviously Italian. What did you learn from that? Absolutely nothing. As Nero Nix picking up a three-second time penalty. And I'm not quite sure where exactly. I think, I think he's probably made that coming out of turn. Uh, probably, probably coming out of turn number 16 there. Pretty easy to take that one wrong, and he has. Something's happened to Hammer 38. Has he gone off? And Hammer has. Hammer 38, he's gone off coming out of turn 12. That's not exactly what you wanted to see there from him. Ugh. Monkey Mafia. Got a half a second gap back on Evil Prime. Evil Prime is looking for the spot. He's not going to get it this time by as we're closing within the last... We're within the last ten laps here of the Division 2 season. Been a very good one so far from what I understand. I haven't had all the opportunity in the world to see it, but the ones I have seen, very good and very enjoyable. Another full safety car for the... Div one, lads. I'm not sure if it's the same one. Evil Prime way down to the inside. He's going to make contact with Monkey Mafia there. He's lucky he didn't just take out a championship contender. That one was dangerous from the Alpha Tauri driver. Really don't need to be making that sort of overtaking there. That was unbelievably close to being disaster. Looks like Tiger Nascar, he's getting pretty close to Nero Nix here. Could he potentially make a move within the next few laps? Tiger Nascar looking to the left, to the right side on Nero Nix, and I think he's going to get that spot side by side, very close between the two of them through turns one and two. Nicely done there from the Red Bull driver, and easy onto the throttle as well. Tiger NASCAR now has detail in the sights. Tiger Nascar to the left side. Looking for detail here. He's got the DRS. He'll be looking to the inside here on our championship leader, and I think detail's really just going to let that spot happen. 
doesn't need to be in a fight that he doesn't need to be in. We have a car that's gone off. Is that Evil Prime? And yeah, he's really perpendicular across the circuit here. And then immediately breaks his front wing trying to get the car straight. Weird flex, but okay. Seems as if Tiger has, in fact, taken that spot from Detail, as we saw earlier going into turn one. Again, Detail doesn't really need to fight this fight at the moment, although he does have Nero Nix in a close pursuit. But, I mean, Detail's in a good spot right now. The driver in front of him and behind him will both have time penalties. He's not really in any sort of close quarters with these two drivers, to the point where you'd be concerned. I think he's going to be doing okay here. Well, as it stands right now, NFS Lightwork, Dace, and Tiger NASCAR. I think NFS Lightwork has led every lap of this race so far. Very commanding lead. I'm not quite sure if he has the fastest lap or not. I think that still belongs to Forza Juve. Very close to being a Grand Slam. I think. I think it's a Grand Slam. Detail looking at Tiger NASCAR here. Going to be looking at the right side. Nothing going for him there, but he does have Nero Nix right behind as well. Forza Juve, he's also closing in to speak of the devil. Let's see if Detail can make something happen here. Looking to the left side on Tiger Nascar. Doesn't need to try too hard to make this overtake, and he's not going to. Very tame here. Very mature of the Mercedes driver. One of those drivers that, you know, sometimes... And I've obviously commentated on Detail for a few seasons now. One of those drivers, you really just... He's in a really good spot a lot of the time and just has some absolutely garbage luck to go along with it, unfortunately. But I tell you what I do know is that if you, if he wins this championship today as Nero Nix picks up three seconds of time penalty, it will be absolutely deserved for detail here. He's done everything right today and last week at Imola when it really counted. Chief Braids and Monkey Mafia in a tight battle here as they go into turn 12. Nero Nix, it's all up to him within these last five laps here. Almost picks up a time limits penalty there. Details about five laps here from his Division Two title. So it looks like Division One is still under the safety guard. No, they're finally back to green. I don't think Nikki 64 is really going to be too much of a threat, nor is Hightower for that matter. Well, Cake Thomas and Mr. Joker in a solid battle at the moment. Nero Nix, he's looking at the back of Forza Juve here. He's got about five tenths of a second. Monkey Mafia and Chief Braids side by side here. This is a very close one. Monkey Mafia is actually doing a really good job of holding off Chief Braids as much as he can. Four laps to go. Chief Braids still looking to the gearbox of Monkey Mafia as they head through the really fast Sector 2 into turn 22 now. Two quick downshifts, maybe a couple. And Chief Braids, he's gone around! VTech and Chief Braids have made contact! And any threat that Monkey Mafia had from Chief Braids, it's all gone. As VTech, who I didn't even, in, in fairness, really recognize that it was that close within that battle, has just absolutely done in the race of Chief Braids in a very tight spot, and a spot you really can't overtake much in either. He's tried to make the move happen, and it's not gone well. 
So the Monkey Mafia at this moment in time, despite being 23 seconds off the off Nero Nix and the Williams, is going to get off with P7 as Chief Braids comes in. Let's look at our championship standings at this moment in time. Let's see what we can do to bring this around. No detail. Currently P4. Nero Nix, he's falling down to P6. Tiger Nascar, he's up to third. Really on a good pace for him. Detail 86, he's just picked up three seconds. And he, I tell you what, is in a tight battle with his teammate here. Of course, Forza Juve does have six seconds of penalties, but now it becomes a battle for position between these guys. It was a really tight battle between Forza Juve and Detail. A battle that these teammates don't need to be making. That's probably just secured Tiger Nascar a podium, really. Monkey Mafia, he's up to P7. Good solid result from him so far. Nirunik still trying to work his way down to detail. Currently the standings right now, detail does have the advantage. 721 to Monkey Mafia 705. Nirunik's at 683 at this moment. His detail is gonna get that spot taken from him, from his teammate rather. So now, only 12 points the difference between Monkey Mafia and a title. Although Monkey Mafia, I will say, he does have a lot of work to do if he wants to get that accomplished. But more importantly, he's got a lot of work ahead of him that needs undoing between Detail and Nero Nix. Forza Juve, he's got six seconds of penalty. Detail's still going to come out of this one okay. He's going to come out to P4 by the end of it. We have two laps to go here in Division 2. NFS Lightwork has led every lap. Qualified on pole. Detail doing everything he can, just trying to keep his race craft, race craft, race craft clean with Nero Nixon behind. Forza Juve trying to make a move on Tiger Nascar at this moment in time. To the outside goes Forza Juve on Tiger Nascar. Wow, that was a gutsy overtake to make and he has. And Forza Juve is going to make contact with the wall there, or was it Tiger Nascar? Heard a wall from someone. Speed of Lord Grim Reefer picks up a time penalty. But on to our final lap here, the Jetta Circuits. NFS Lightwork with the lead, Dayson second, Tiger Nascar third, in hot pursuit of Forza Juve. Detail has Nero Nix not that far behind. To the right side goes Nero Nix. He is going to take that spot. That's going to make things very, very close in the driver's standings. If this spot holds, we have a yellow flag. It looks like the McLaren someone or another happens. Nine points the gap. Capital 58 starting to fall back just a little bit. Oh no! Has NFS Lightwork, has he, has he ran out of fuel? And he has! Dace is gonna inherit a win! 
<coughs> you can't make this up, folks. NFS Lightwork, who has been leading the race the entire time, seems to have underfueled his car. And it turns out that Dace is going to walk away with a win. Wow, I, I mean, you, you, you can't make that up, can you? Coming to the line for the final time in the most unusual circumstances, Dace is going to take the win here at Jetta. Lightwork has Forza Juve in behind close. Round Forza Juve. Tiger NASCAR is going to move to third. Lightwork's going to drop all the way down. He's still dropping. Nero Nixon detail nearly make contact with him. Detail's going to take home fourth. Never mind fifth. But most importantly, it is Detail 86, your Division 2 champion. Dace takes first. Somehow Lightwork limped across the line to take third. Tiger NASCAR in second. That was just an absolutely unbelievably unprecedented race. Detail does take fifth. Nero Nix takes sixth. Monkey Mafia does take seventh. Or, yeah. Hang on. I'm getting it right. Calm down. So. We look at the Div 1 race. They're on their final lap. Nikki 64, currently P13. I don't really think that's really going to be come to fruition all that much. Hightower finds himself in P10 at this moment in time. We'll chalk him up for a P10. That's good, good work from him. <coughs> but it is Dace taking your win here in Jeddah. Tiger NASCAR taking driver of the day. NFS Lightwork limping across the line to take third. But it's Detail86, the man of the hour, who takes the Division II Drivers' Championship. And I believe we have just had a photo finish in Division 1. No, oh, and then people crashing. So, Dace takes the win, Tiger NASCAR second, NFS Lightwork third, Forza Juve comes home fourth, Detail in fifth, Nero Nixon sixth, the seventh is the Monkey Mafia, eighth is VTech, ninth Capital 58, tenth DDL, eleventh Grim Reefer, twelfth Cheap Grades, thirteenth is Hammer, fourteenth is Evil Prime, fifteenth Sephron City, sixteenth Dead Text Message, seventeenth is Knuckles, eighteenth is Fuse Rogue. And then rounding out the field in 19th is text to speech, and let's get to those interviews right now. Hey, I am here with three people. Two of them are on the podium. One of them finished fifth. Um, the reason for that is uh, we can confirm for you now. Detail 86. Congratulations, you have won the Division Two Championship. Congratulations on that. Uh, Dace, I do have good news for you. You finished above your teammate by one point. So uh, nicely done on that. Uh, NFS light work. You were on the podium today let's actually let's start with uh let's start with light work so man I, I i tell you what you had a really dominating qualifying session you got into the race led pretty much every lap up until that last one i just i, I want to ask you did you purposely underfuel the car was it just kind of a random thing you'd tinkered with and uh got out of hand yeah it was uh i knew i wasn't fighting for a championship i joined like there's two a couple races ago so i just i decided I just descended, honestly. I mean, I knew, I figured there'd be safety cars because it's a street circuit and, and like from Tuesday's practice session, there's people like retiring on track like crazy. So I figured it'd be, it'd be like a mess, but it turned out it was uh, a lot more clean than I expected. I put two laps under fuel and I was about 0.7 uh, at the end, but it was, uh, it was just, uh, it was just a stupid move. I shouldn't have done it to be honest with you, but I mean, if I was fighting for a championship, I'd be a lot more pissed off. But I'm uh, happy I had the the pace to keep the lead. But um, yeah, I mean, it was a pretty good release overall, besides that last lap. 
Yeah, no, it was a really good race. I mean, you had the you had the quality session to begin with. I don't blame you for underfueling the car. It definitely makes sense. Definitely a driver's move. Um, I, I will say to your point there, we definitely, I think you stayed out of trouble probably the most of anyone today. Uh, we had uh, a lot of the incidents happen in midfield. I think we almost had detail and Forza Juve get into it a little bit, which we can go over in a minute. But uh, yeah, that, how, how do you, uh, what do you, what do you think about your season in review so far? We're done with season four. How, how do you think you've done so far? Or how do you think you've done? Yeah, I think I've done quite well. I mean, joining about maybe about midway through the season. I mean, moved from like Div 6 all the way to Div 2, so I'm, I'm pretty happy about that and uh, won a couple races on the way up. But looking forward to next season, uh, looking to fight for a championship, hopefully, uh, and, and not move up a division or anything. Just looking forward to racing this division because clearly it's, uh, it's, a, it's a lot cleaner than I expected, to be honest. So looking forward to some clean battles next season and... Uh, and hopefully some wins. Absolutely, man. And I tell you what, if you have more performances like you had today, wins are definitely in your future. Congratulations on your uh, on your podium finish. I would say win, but it was kind of a bitter end to it. But uh, congratulations on the podium nonetheless. It was a really good drive for you, a really good day overall. Now, Dace, on to you, man. I, I tell you what, I, I think in these past two, two weeks, uh, these past two races, you've definitely been kind of the... Uh, I don't want to say the I don't want to say the uh, the party pooper really, but you've came in, uh, you've came in, and you've put a wrench into a lot of the plans of some of these guys up more in the championship standings. You had a really good day today. I, I mean, I mean, tell me about it. This was a re this was like a new track. You had a great qualifying session. I mean, how how'd it go for you from your from your perspective? Um, I I thought it was a pretty good race. I uh, drove pretty well. Um, I did everything I could to. To stay as close as I could to light work, but he was rapid. It was ridiculous, but um, yeah. I mean, uh, I, if I wouldn't have DNF so many times <laughs> the first half of the season, I can imagine where I'd be. Yeah, I tell you what, it, that, that's that's one of the biggest things that we were coming with this year with this whole point system and whatnot. Finishing and keeping consistent, a really big part of. The reason why uh, our, our championship leaders were doing really good, but I tell you what, if you keep your, if you keep it up, man, you got a bright future ahead of you. And uh, I tell you what, that was a really great race today. Uh, how do you think you've done so far in your season overall? I mean, you said you had a couple DNFs here and there, but uh, do you think you can carry that in the next season? Um, yeah, I think uh, I think a lot of my DNFs were to do with the. Uh, sorry, I keep stuttering. Um, I think it was to do with before they patched the game, and you know, if you touched a curb nine times out of ten, you'd be fine, but that tenth time, it'd send you into a wall. So that was most of my life. Um, but overall, my season, I feel like I've come back pretty well and put together some good results. I've had a lot of fun with these new guys moved up, and like, I mean, these battles have been really fun. Yeah, well, I tell you what, it's been an absolutely it's been an absolute pleasure to watch you. I haven't really watched much of Diff 2 this season, but every time I have, your name's been popping up, so congratulations on today's win and a very good season overall. Good luck in next season. Detail 86, man, you won the championship. How does it feel? I tell you what, the um, in, in seasons past watching... Uh, you in particular in Div 2 in general where I've commentated the most. You've always been kind of there. It just, it, it, there was just something missing. You know, you were, get, you were getting into good spots and it was really close and then somehow, some way, it, it would just always end up backwards for you. But I tell you what, you turned it around this season and you got, into, I mean, you won by a pretty solid margin as well. The next closest was Monkey Mafia. So you won by 12 points, pretty solid gap there. Um, what do you think has changed from this past season to this one? Or from the seasons before? I'd say what consistency is key, especially here in Div 2, and uh, it will be as well in Division 1 as you've also sealed your promotion 
into Div 1. Do you think you can keep up with the big dogs of uh, the Midwest F1 League? Well, I tell you what, the, your, your Mercedes team, you guys had a really good day today as well. You and Forza Juve battled it out a little bit surprisingly, I'd say, but Forza Juve, and you both did very, very good. Yeah, well, I tell you what, man, congratulations on your championship victory. Congratulations. It's been a really great season. It's been fun to watch, and hopefully you can carry that into Div 1 next year. Good luck to you, and uh, for continue. Absolutely, man. Congratulations. And for all of us here at Midwest F1 League, thank you so much for watching. However, next season, right around the corner, I think uh, December 16th, our first race at Abu Dhabi. So we will see you then.